Good day, everyone. Welcome again to another edition of Fayette Focus. Harry right with you today, my guest from the OSU Extension Agency here in Fayette County. We've got Pat Brinkman. Pat, how are you? Good morning. How are you? We're doing great. Um, good time of the year to be thinking about maybe eating a little bit healthier than rather eating the goodies. That's very true. And the goodies are out there tempting us all. So, you know, it's a little challenging some days. If you're trying to watch your weight, would you not say that this is the hardest part? I mean, post-Thanksgiving, well, I guess it starts at Thanksgiving and it goes all the way. It starts at Halloween time because, you know, all the, the things, and especially if you have smaller children around, you've got then all this ca- Halloween candy. So from Halloween till New Year's, it's a difficult time. When you even say a little bit past New Year's too, maybe Super Bowl. I mean, Super Bowl Sunday. There's a lot of snacks taken uh, taken in on that day. Yes, there is a lot of snacks on that day also. So you know, and then you get into that, or, uh, Valentine's Day. So I mean, well, it's a no win situation here. And it's winter time. We eat throughout the winter. And I don't know how many millions of chicken wings will be consumed on uh, the the Super Bowl Sunday. But um, anyway, some tips maybe to keep us a little healthier. That's true. And, you know, we can do a lot of different things. One thing is stay as when you go to a party, sit as far away from the actual food as you can kind of. So um, if you're so uh, socialize a lot, think about who you can talk to and what you can talk to them about or just engage people in conversation and can really keep that on your mind rather than eating. But be mindful of what you're eating, too, because otherwise we can just eat away while we're talking or doing something else and we don't even realize how much we've eaten. You know, I, I, I find myself doing that. I mean, if you're concentrating on something else, sometimes you just keep right on taking that hand to mouth and you don't realize you were full 10, 15 minutes ago. That's very true, you know. And, you know, like before you go, don't go starving. You know, don't starve yourself throughout the day thinking, oh, I can eat more then or I won't have eaten as many calories for the day. That doesn't work well at all. It's better if you eat some your normal kind of food throughout the day and then even take a little snack, eat a little snack maybe before you go, just so that you don't go famished and everything you look at then suddenly you want because you're so starving. And then you'll usually go for those higher calorie items too. Well, that's right, because the hungry you are, your body is thinking, I want the calories, I want the calories, yeah. give me that chocolate thing right there. <laughs> You're right, yes, very much so. <laughs> yeah, and, and, you know, and another tip too, she said eat something before you go eat, like carrots and celery and stuff like that. Don't don't eat the same food that you're going to be eating that night. No, no, or eat a piece of fruit, you know, something like that. Or maybe drink a glass of milk. That's not a bad thing to either because it kind of helps you settle in there and you got a little protein and everything else so then you just don't feel quite as hungry it's also a good idea to drink quite a bit of water before you go and actually they say if you drink two cups of water before you eat a meal you will eat less when you think about it that water is going to take up some space it is going to take up some space so that's not a bad idea and think about not only how much drinking water but try to have if you're a host or somebody try to have some like flavored waters where you put some fruit in it you know this time of year cranberries in a pitcher of water look really pretty um and uh, look very festive but it gives a tiny bit of flavor in there or some strawberries in that water um will give it some flavor and it tempts people to drink that rather than something else and speaking of drinking, probably around the New Year's Eve area, you probably want to watch that alcohol consumption because that will pack on the pounds. It really does. Do you know that, um, you know, even just a simple glass of wine has quite a bit of calories. And then when you get into the real um, alcoholic drinks, you are packing on calories very quickly. So it's really important to be careful about how much you drink. Because those wines and those liquors, uh, they have that thing called sugar in them. Yes, they do. And a lot of times, so for some people, they might even make you more hungry. So then you're not only drinking more calories, you're also eating more calories because they've made you hungry. <laughs> so, the, good, so if you're if you're checking those ca- calories, folks, uh, Pat and I are saying lay off the lay off the alcoholic beverages. Maybe have one or two, but watch those alcoholic beverages because boy, that next day you're going to pack on the pounds. That's very true, you know. And even coffee drinks today is another one that we have to be careful of, you know. Um, coffee's not a, by itself; it's not bad. We start adding sugar sometimes, or 
cream. So the, that adds up. But then when you really get into the other ones, the lot Choco Mota with the yeah. caramel. And I mean, there's nothing yeah. about that that doesn't sound uh, fattening at all. Oh, of course not. And the whipped cream on top, too. <laughs> Some more caramel or, or chocolate or peppermint or whatever. Yeah, you know, four or 500 calories in just one of those drinks. That's a lot of calories. Well, it is just when it's an eight ounce cup of coffee. Yes, it is. So, you know, um, coffee, tea doesn't have many calories by themselves. But when you start adding all that other, then you really packed in the calories. So be careful of those drinks also this season. Now, a lot of people make a New Year's resolution saying, you know, I want to lose 25 pounds or I want to lose 30 pounds or something like that. I think sometimes we're too unrealistic and we don't meet our goal. Therefore, we feel like a failure and we just quit. Yes. And that very, very does much happen. We say that most people gain one to two calories over this holiday season that they never take off. OK, they may actually gain more weight than that, but then they do work to take some of it off, but they don't lose all of it. So that gets to be a problem when you're talking about 10 years down the road. Um, suddenly you got 10 extra pounds on you that you didn't, wouldn't have otherwise. So it's really important to try to kind of keep it in moderation and kind of watch, um, you know, don't deprive yourself totally. Cause when you deprive yourself totally, then it's like, ah, when you see it eventually, or you suddenly can't, ha you just have to have it. So. Well, I think you starve your body for it. And it's so like you said, the instant that you see that double chocolate, German chocolate cake, you're like, I have not had one of those in seven years. I need one. Yes. Yes. So, you know, moderation. But think of if you're going to eat one little one, one of something or they you want more than one of what how many can you maybe make little tiny pieces and have a really good taste and then decide also on what do you really like? What is what is your favorites? Not what looks good, but what's really good. Okay, and choose those. Don't eat all of the other ones. Because if you concentrate on what's really good or what you like really well, then you will get to you will satisfy yourself. But you also won't be feel and you won't feel deprived but you also won't pack in as many calories because you decided, you know, and I've decided over the years, I really like dark chocolate and the other chocolate. Nee, yes, it's good, but I can leave it alone if I have my dark chocolate. So I tried not to eat any other chocolate, but the dark chocolate that way I'm not eating so much. Plus it's more nutritious. A little bit, it has some more antioxidants in it. So it's better for you. The more cocoa powder there is in the chocolate, the more antioxidants there are. Yes. That's very true. So dark chocolate is a little healthier. It gives you more antioxidants. What other tips do you have for us? Um, so when you're at the party, think about getting a small plate and using small plates. So if you're hosting a party, also put out small plates. That helps the people not eat quite so much. Um, and then think about how, putting in some fruits, some vegetables um, on that plate, not just the goodies at the end of the... <laughs> table or the beginning of the day, wherever the coast has put them, you know, add some other things. Um, if she's got some protein, have a little bit of protein because protein we know also helps satisfy, satisfy you a little bit better. So, you know, include that. So my philosophy of the big plate is for the goody goodies and the little plate is for the vegetables. That's, that's, no, not, that's, that's, that's not, not how that works? No, that's not a good good strategy. Here. I see now that the little plate was for people who didn't want to eat as much and the big plate are for those of us that don't care. But I, I always thought the big plate was for like the chocolate covered things and, and the sweet things and the little plate was for, oh, look, there's a meatball. Okay, well, let's put that on there. Um, I mean, even those can have quite a bit of calories sometimes, but usually those chocolate, the goodies, the cookies and all these other things usually have a lot more calories than the other ones. So it's important to, you know, think about limiting yourself and maybe share some of those goody goodies with somebody else. That's always a good thing to do. You know, um, say, I'll take half the cookie, you eat the other half the cookie, you know, and that way you cut back too, but you still get that cookie, that taste of cookie in your mouth you wanted. Always nice to have a food buddy. That's very true. That's okay. very true. What else for us, Pat? Um, if you are a host, and many of us are hostess or hostess, hosts during this holiday season, think about what you can have that you can provide. This may be more interesting. Um, like a recent recipe I ran across was apple nachos. And you slice apple 
apples, thin slices of apples, put it out on a plate. You can drizzle it with peanut butter or almond butter, and then add a, maybe a little bit of dark chocolate drizzle on top, and then throw on some chopped nuts, or um, you might even throw in some pomegranates or something like that. And you got a nice festive dish, but lower in calories, it's healthier for you. So, you know, think about that. Um, think about how you place your food. Pinterest is a really good place to go to look at food placement to make it really interesting on the plate. Because with vegetables, rather than put them in that circle thing that everybody puts them in, you know, with a dip in the center, you can make a Christmas tree out of them and decorate the Christmas tree even. So it looks really festive. You know, do the tree and maybe broccoli or something. And then you can have orange or um, pepper slices around it like garland. You can do little um, grapes or the st do a star fruit at the top for the star at the tree. So you can really decorate it, make it look very festive and and have it that way. If you're going to serve a cheese ball or something, shape it in the form of a snowman and make it look pretty. Um, you know, so if it's if it looks really pretty, some people may not even eat it because it's so pretty they don't want to ruin it. Bill, Bill, don't touch that. That's a decoration. That's not for eating. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, you know, that is true. Sometimes people go, oh, look at that beautiful pineapple with all the fruit and everything on it. Oh, I don't want to eat that. That's I'm sure that's for looks. If I eat that now, little Peter will come later, don't get to see it. That's true. Too bad for them. Yes, too bad for them. <laughs> That's right. Well, Pat, thank you so much. Some great tips on uh, some ways that the, this holiday season, you maybe can attend the parties and have the fun, but maybe not take home all that poundage afterwards. That's very true. And it's important. Think about what you really want to eat and concentrate on that. And then think about smaller portions, maybe. Will help a lot. And if you have trouble getting rid of those leftovers from your holiday party, you can contact me right here at the TV station and in Washington Courthouse, and I'll, I'll help take care of that. Pat, thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good day.